state what is meant by the specific heat capacity. The definition of specific heat capacity can be derived from its equation. C, the specific heat capacity, equals Q, the quantity of heat energy or the amount of heat energy. M is the mass and delta T is the change in temperature. So we say that the specific heat capacity is defined as the amount of heat energy Q needed for one kilogram mass of substance to raise its temperature by an amount of one degree Celsius. This is the specific heat capacity derived from the rule. We say that the quantity of heat energy needed for one kilogram of a substance to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius. This is the definition of specific heat capacity. Question B. Water has a very high specific heat capacity. Suggest why this might be a disadvantage when using water for cooking. Okay, what does very high specific heat capacity mean? From the definition we just wrote before, very high specific capacity means that you will need very high quantity of heat energy for one kilogram of substance to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius. So, when you say that water has very high specific heat capacity, this means that you will need to heat it too much just to raise its temperature by a small amount. This may be a disadvantage in cooking because you will need long time to heat water. So we can answer, water takes longer time to heat up. The Marx scheme has other opinions. Long time to heat up or cook. Long time to cool down. Expensive to heat. Of course you will need too much fuel to heat water. Takes a lot of energy to heat up. Any one of these answers can get the mark of the question.